Welcome back to another episode of The Daily Glitch, where we're bringing you the top stories from around the web. It seems as though Final Fantasy XV isn't shaping up to be the game we all thought it was going to be. Since early in its development as Final Fantasy XV, Square Enix has pushed the game as an open-world mashup of Eastern and Western RPG styles. But speaking in a new interview with Famitsu, game director Hajime Tabata said that, quote, Final Fantasy XV consists of both open-world and linear parts. The first half keeps going as an open-world, but the story in the second half is led by a linear path. That way you won't get bored of an open world as the rest of the game tightens. So we made it in a way that you'll also get to advance through it as you have in conventional Final Fantasy games. It seems like kind of a left turn from their original marketing strategy of open world exploration and road trips, but it is a step back towards the more traditional Final Fantasy games that have kept them going. And when speaking about the game's length, he referred to the quote, main route of the second half, leading us to believe there might be some alternate paths around that set of the story. He said, quote, if you play through the first half and only the main route of the second half, I believe the estimated playtime sits at around 40 to 50 hours. If you haven't been keeping up on Final Fantasy 15 news, unfortunately the game has hit a delay from its September 30th release date and is now pushed back to November 29th for PS4 and Xbox One. According to an interview with GameSpot, Tabata said that the delay is so that the contents of the day one patch could instead be included on the disc rather than a part of a day one download. And do you remember that PC free-to-play Halo online shooter? If you don't, don't worry. It only launched in Russia as part of an alpha test phase. Developed as a collaboration between the Halo Master Chief Collection, Saber Interactive, and a Russian publisher, Innova Systems. The whole thing was fueled by microtransactions and was only launched in Russia. Unfortunately, we may never see what's to come of this game. The developers have stopped all development of the title and are taking the game offline for good. This dashes a lot of people's hopes to bring Halo to the PC market, at least until Xbox starts unifying things with its Xbox Play Anywhere program. And that's it for today. Let us know what you think in the comments below. And as always, if you'd like to stay up on all the latest gaming news, subscribe to our channel and follow us on Twitter at Glitchfeed. We'll be back on Monday with another Daily Glitch.